Well, guys, I decided to do one extra video for you. So consider this part for updating from 2004 to 2010. Uh, yeah, that's another Ubuntu release that just got released today. I would figure I'd do this video to make upgrading easy for you in case you want to do it right now and get newer kernel and drivers and everything else. And, you know, just have an overall more updated system. I find that, yes, it ends up more stable that way. So let's try to do that. You're going to want to open up a software and update. Go to updates and select for any new version. All right. And the next thing we want to enter is we're just going to make sure there's no packages that need to be installed. Once we're good for that, we want to do sudo do dash release dash upgrade space dash D. Hopefully it will find it. it. It's finding it. This is great. It's working. And you can upgrade to 20.10. Here we go. Checking for installed snaps, calculating snap size install. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to go through all the repos that need to be done and checked and grab all the packages that need to be installed to do the full upgrade. This isn't going to take that long, depending on if you have a good internet connection or not, but it does have to parse a lot of files and check in on a lot of files. So I'm going to just pause it right here and we'll check in from time to time on its progress. Well, as you can see, it's found a bunch of stuff uh, that it needs to upgrade. So, download is finished. The process cannot be canceled. If you want to continue or not, hit Y to continue. I think it says to hit Y. Press N U to enter. And it will grab everything. Hopefully. So that process didn't take as long as it normally does. I'm glad they're finally upgrading stuff from really, really slow to at least reasonably quick. Means a lot. So there's a lot of stuff that it's going to have to grab. Look at that. Kernel modules, you name it. Uh, Xorg stuff. So much stuff is going to be grabbed. And it's a good thing. Because most of these packages are actually updated compared to what you have now on 2004.3. Here's a little known fact, Ubuntu is heavily outdated compared to distros such as Fedora and Arch, especially when it comes to developer software and programs. This is why most people use Arch and Fedora for software development for that single reason, because it's just, if you, if you get one package that's outdated, you're kind of screwed, and you'll have to either compile the newest or wait until it gets updated, which could take weeks or months, depending on the program. Like how I can't compile Yuzu on, um, what is it called, Farin OS, because it's CMake and it's Make are extremely out of date. It was based on 1804, so it's to be expected, pretty much. So yeah, it's unpacking, setting up, and doing all this really cool stuff that you guys don't really need to see, but I'm kind of showing you anyway, because right now we're only at three minutes, right? So it's not really going to hurt much. Some things are able to go wrong with this, so don't expect miracles. In all honesty, I, I really wish I went and did Pop! OS instead for you guys, because Pop! OS is a superior operating system. Even though it's based on Ubuntu, it corrects almost all of the mistakes that Ubuntu has. So, yeah, Pop! OS is just better overall, better support. I mean, you can actually develop things on it without it having updated packages or dependencies. And if you do need something updated, uh, drop a message to one of the developers and I'm sure that it will get updated. Tell them how important it is, tell them what it does. And they're a very nice community as well. They're not toxic, kind of like I've found most communities to be Linux related. So, yeah, you should be fine with asking for support and help from them and everything else. So this could take a really long time. We're going to once again go and just pause. So at this point, 63 packages are going to be removed. Just hit yes and agree and move on with the update. These are mostly outdated packages anyway. To finish your upgrade, all you have to do is hit Y, hit enter to restart, and you're good to go. So I'm going to do that and uh, I'll come back into the operating system after and we'll walk around to see if it's any buggier or any better. 
well, we're back on the thing and we're on 20.10 and I, um, I don't know what to think. Maybe it's broken or maybe the background just got nuked. Uh, let's go with this one. Ooh, this is very Mac OS. I do like it. Uh, dash to dock still works. I accidentally just closed OBS. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's take a look around. Arc menu still works. Dash to dock still functions. Um, what's this? This still works too. Well, for the most part, it's not really showing the frequency, unfortunately. Let's change this to high performance. Performance. And 4300 megahertz. Nothing. Okay, and my sensors are clearly broken because I don't see them anywhere. Let's take a look at Tweak Tools to see what um, tweaks have broken. Cafe still works, works, works. This does not function, sadly. And probably will have to be removed or replaced, though. Freon is currently not working. Everything else seems to be functioning fine. Uh, for the most part. Remember set settings. You get your monitors, your governors, your loading. Let's see what that did. Uh, default colors. Power events do nothing. Uh, high performance. The theme seems to have changed a bit. It's now purple, which is nice. And let's open up files. So, yeah. Upgrade, I guess, was pretty successful. But to Steam open. That's the big one. I love this background. I honestly do love this background. Look at this. It looks amazing. So, it's PIN's potentially outdated software. It's going to validate its installation. It's going to do everything it needs to to go over the upgrade. And once it's done, everything works as expected. NVIDIA drivers. Let's check them. NVIDIA. NVIDIA drivers are still 455.2304. That's fine. Let's check our kernel. And we're still on the Zen mod kernel. Excellent. So it didn't replace our kernel, which I do really like. And everything else looks pretty much a-okay. Theme is alright. Everything else is alright. You got your keys, your wine. And let's make sure that wine still works. Wine config. Yes, wine still works. Nice. Well, I hope you had a successful upgrade. I'm going to go edit this video. Thank you for watching. I hope someone found this helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.